Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. As we meet to worship in this place, we gather to prepare ourselves anew for the Messiah's coming, like Israel of old and Christians through the ages. The prophetic words of Isaiah provide us challenge and focus as we anticipate the Messiah's arrival. Every valley shall be exalted, and every mountain and hill shall be made low. The crooked shall be made straight, and the rough places plain. The glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all shall see it together. Let every heart prepare for the long-awaited Messiah's coming. A shoot shall come forth from the stump of Jesse, and a branch shall grow from his roots. The Spirit of God shall rest on this one, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. In our preparation, we find ourselves yearning for the promised light of the world. The lights and candles around us symbolize the hope, peace, love, and joy anticipated in the Messiah's coming. I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans for your welfare, not for evil, to give you a future with hope. Rain. 
the promised Messiah is a promise of hope, a promise filled with joy. The eternal God is coming to earth to dwell among all people. The Lord shall give you a sign. A virgin shall conceive, bear a son, and name him Emmanuel, meaning God is with us. Joy to the world. The Lord shall come. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. Behold, the word made flesh. The ancient prophecy has become reality. The Savior is born. The first to hear the good news were shepherds on a Judean hillside. There were shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid, for I give you good news of great joy. To you was born this day in the city of David a savior, who is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth, peace, and goodwill.
As the angels left the shepherds and returned to heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste, and there they found Mary, Joseph, and the baby lying in a manger. Glory to God in the highest. The long-awaited Messiah has come, not as a powerful king or a mighty warrior, but as an innocent baby, sent as a gift of God's love. He was born in a remote village to a humble Nazarene couple. Mary called him Jesus. the night of our waiting has come the dawn of new life. Jesus sent to us from the very heart of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, full of grace and truth. We beheld his glory, glory as of the Father's only Son. Come, let us adore him, Christ the Lord. In the days when Herod was king of Judea, after Jesus had been born in Bethlehem, wise men traveled from the east to Jerusalem. They asked, where is the one who has been born king of the Jews? We have seen a star and have come to worship him. The long-awaited birth of the Messiah is only part of the Christmas story. 
Jesus was God's gift of love, a gift not only to a chosen people, but also to the entire world. The wise men left Jerusalem. The star which they had seen in the east went before them until it came and stood over the place where the young child was. They were overwhelmed with great joy. When the wise men entered the house, they saw the young child with Mary. They knelt down and worshiped him, presenting their gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. God gave us history's most precious gift, the Messiah, Jesus Christ. In response, wise men came in worship and adoration, bearing their own precious treasures. Likewise, we offer our gifts, not out of obligation, but from hearts filled with gratitude and love.
After seeing Jesus, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about the child, and all who heard were amazed. They returned, glorifying and praising God for the things they had heard and seen. Yeah. 